In this video, we will see how to place a ceiling hosted component such as a light. We will see how to align those components to the ceiling grids and how to array the components across the ceiling grids to create a lighting layout. I have now this model open on conference area ceiling plan. Now we go to architecture and we go to component and place component. Now, if I go to a type selector in here and searching for a light fixture, I don't have any light fixture loaded inside the model. This is what we will do in insert, load Autodesk. And now I'm going for uh, searching lighting. Now, I'm searching for lighting and you see here I have many families that upload it. I go to lighting architecture internal and now I search for this lighting pendant lamp art glass. I select it. Now searching for this parabolic 2 by 4 and we have this uh, pending lamp art glass and this trophy light 2 by 4 parabolic loud. Now you see I have this four type loaded. I will go for this one 2 by 4. And now if I hover over the conference, now if I go to conference room and I see my lighting fixture, I can place it anywhere. Now click on modify, then I come back to modify and go to align. Now I align in here and click on the grids and align. Now I have my lighting fixture aligned. I click on modify to uh, cancel the command. Now I want to do a linear array in here and to do that, now I go to do array and before to do that, I select my lighting and go into here array linear. And now I go to option bar and I uncheck group and associate and I want three. And I want to move to a second and I came in here from this corner and I escape uh, one tram. Now you see I have three lighting placed. Now you see that they are not in the center. If I want to make them in the center, I can, for example, click on a line in here and go in that in here and click on here and click on equal. Now you see the lighting fixture are moved with the ceiling grid. Click on modify, delete. We don't need that on constraint. Now what I do for to place them on the other side, I just select all my lighting and just simple copy and I can do multiple copy. Click in here and place them like that. Now delete. We don't want this one. Delete element. And now you see that I have this lighting placed in here. Now, I want to place the other lighting in this area. I go to architecture and now I go to component. And in the type selector, I select the other pendant lamp. And now if I want to place it in here, I must change the placement from placing component here. And I select place on face. You see, we have three options. Now, if I want to place it in the center of the ceiling, I must come in here. And before that, I click on SC to override the uh, snap. And you see, I have the preview. And now if I click, they are placed. The, uh, my, now you see that my lighting is placed in the center. Now what I do, I just select my uh, select my lighting, go to uh, copy, and I copy my lighting uh, 
uh, about three feet okay let's uh, move it let's move it uh, let's see here we want to be two feet that's correct now what do we do we do a, a polar array okay how to do that select that go to array and now we have this linear and we have this radial array now i go for uh, this time i want uh, to have eight okay and we want to you see the center of the array placed in here i want that to be placed in here how to do that click on center of uh, rotation and hover over the center and override the snap by clicking on sc and now my center is in here now i go from here to 45 degree awesome now we have all our lighting placed in here and if we want to make sure how it's how my lighting behave with my ceiling i go to 3d and now in my 3d i you see here i have this scope box placed in my exercise i just go to uh in here now you see my scope box placed in here now if i click anywhere in the 3d i have my 3d view properties and you come to scope box and click on conference room scope box and now you see that i have this uh, 3d uh, section box now you can for example select the ceiling in here and change the height for 10 feet just to see how the, the lighting fixture behave with the ceiling and you see that's move with the ceiling just get back to nine feet and that's correct we can do that for the uh, ceiling placed in here now you see 10 feet let's bring it to nine feet and you see that my pending light move with that let's bring it back to 10 feet enter and that's complete our exercise how to place component uh, inside the ceiling.